See, I hope you can see this. I gotta bend down, put it on a table so you can see it. I don't have cameramen. I don't have this budget. I budget everything for tacos. So I have to <laughs> do without something. So these are the knockouts. Very easy to knock out to get your connector in. Use a couple important tools, side cuts, or people, they're linemen, people call them side cuts. These are an electrician's best friend. Use them as a hammer, cut wire, what have you. But uh, for right now, this is gonna be used as a hammer. Screwdriver. Here's a center knockout. This is a inch and a quarter connector. It's a Romex connector, a little lock nut on the, on the end. We wanna get that in here so we can get our service entrance cable. This is the one inch knockout, it's right here. A little noisy. Comes out as simple as that. Grab it from the back, twist it out, simple as that. We have, to, it doesn't fit, so we have to get the other knockout around it out. So you just pry it up a little bit here, pry it up a little bit there, kind of make it into what? A taco, isn't that something? Hold it half, squish it, for lack of a better word, squish it, right where the welds are. You gotta be careful, you rock these gently because if there's other knockouts too, will fall out and then you won't have enough, enough space for your connector. And it comes out as simple as that. Us, we're gonna do service entrance uh, conductor and a three quarter inch knockout for our Romexes for our home runs. Just like the other one, simple, twist it out, get your screwdriver, one, two, do the old taco maneuver, look at that, right at the welds, and just inch it out of there. Nothing to it. Now the other thing is, inside of the panel, they're knockouts, you've got to feel them in there. They're really small. They're the knockouts so you can mount the panel. Uh, get a thinner screwdriver, because small holes, just meant for a screw, and pop those out, and right on the other side of it, just grab that knockout, twist it out. It's on all four sides, so you can mount the panel inside the, uh, the studs. All right, easy enough. Okay, now that we've got the knockouts knocked out, got our connectors in, nice and snug, of course, run the screws in, you know, tight, not too tight where you pinch it and you know, create a, an arc. You don't need that tight. Nice and snug. All right, we're gonna start with our service entrance cable. First thing we do, our razor knife. I try not to use a sharp one to dig into the wire. So I let them go dull up. I have the same blade for six months. So we do, we put a score right here on the top side, and a score right even around the back side. Cut away from yourself. They say never cut yourself, you cut your buddy, <laughs> not you. Run right where you scored it, right down the center. See how I'm holding it here? Up top now, I can finish my cut. There's no, nobody to get cut now. Take my slit right there, pull out the sheathing, it just snaps off right up top. Clean that up later. Everybody knows I don't. I'm a very messy electrician, but I guess you gotta care, right? <laughs> Take, this is the neutral wire. Take the neutral off, it just simply unwinds like that, okay? I move the conductors over and I take them, I make like a little handle out of it, like that, like a crank starting old car. Just turn it and it tightens it up into a nice tight little wire there. The other best friend of an electrician. These are just cutters, but they call them parrot beaks in the trade. I don't even really know what they're, they're called, but they work good for that kind of stuff. So, Here's our neutral, our top bar is our neutral bar, right up top. See, I don't know if you can see it. This is our neutral, connects our bars right here. We're connecting our neutrals and our grounds to these same bars. So it comes with these panels, it's a bonding screw. It goes right next to here, right in there. So the first thing you do, you put that in so you don't forget. It bonds the neutrals and the grounds together. Because there's current flowing on that neutral. Any kind of fault, it's like a drain. You want it to drain to the grounds. So the panel's grounded, 
This is called the grounded conductor, so it's grounded. So, so what do we do? We want to get this in the neutral, right here in the neutral bar. This one right in the center. A little bit of a pain because we don't have much space. We're trying to do it as nice as possible. So I just put like a little curve in it and then put it right down inside there. Then you need, you have to have no lox, deox. It's just so it doesn't oxidize underneath the lug. Oxidation like uh, you might see in a battery cable on your car. So then you have the wire, oxidation's in between it. It, it can't make, uh, it, it just doesn't touch. So you have arcing in between. It's just kind of dangling in between because there's oxidation in there. So you don't want that. That's what this does. And you can tighten up the lug so the lugs don't get stuck, what have you. So you put that in there with no, the no locks, right down into the neutral. Bing, bang, boom. That's good. Now, our other two conductors right here. Now we'll go over sizing and what you need and what they're called a little bit, just so you know what to tell, again, the guy at Home Depot. But for right now, all intents and purposes, not intensive, <laughs> intents and purposes. We're just gonna do it just like this. You're just gonna watch me. And then I'll, I'll, we'll get into the particulars later. I got some, I got a whole classroom here with blackboards and uh, I can do some examples. So the wire here, because I've been doing it so long, I use my cutters and I, I see, well, I got about a half inch there. I get about a half inch under my wire and clamp it down so I can just barely feel the wire. I'll go around it till I can feel the wire and then pop it off. But if you dig too deep into it, some of these conductors will come off and now you've messed with the rating of this whole conductor. It won't conduct its 100 amp. So if you're green to it, you've never done it, use the razor knife and I'll show you on the next one how to use the razor knife on that one. So let's land this one. Put our no locks on. Okay. And land it under the lug. Yeah, it looks like I'm a little tight. Back it off. And I'm good. Now for the other one, same thing. I just kind of get my thumb in there and kind of put a little bend in it. Just just to look neat. You know, anything, it only takes a second. It only takes a second to do neat work. It really does. And it makes all the difference in the world. It looks good, makes you feel better. Especially you got an inspector coming around. He's like, hey, this guy, looks, at least he cared, you know? You'd be amazed at the hacks that I've seen on jobs, what they do. You can tell when a handyman gets after it or a homeowner or something. It's just a mess. They just cram everything in there. It's, uh, it's ridiculous. You can't work in there if you ever want to get back in again. Land that in there, straight in. The no locks were good, okay? That's it for, that's, that's it. 